dirt, wet dirt, creatures that eat dirt. The world of the undergrowth revolves around dirt and detritus. How many legs do they have? How many eyes do they have? And do those eyes blink individually or simultaneously? Do they blink at all? Do insects even have eyelids? It's time to find out in the intrepid world of the undergrowth. The environment of the undergrowth is as old as the planet itself, and its inhabitants have existed for almost even longer possibly. Disgusting creatures, they crawl and writhe in and around the soil in search of God knows what to do God knows what with, but it is most certainly something rancid. One such example would be the tusked black dirt catapult beetle. I'm absolutely shattered, I am. Right out the way, it's time to back up now. Move along, coming through. The catapult beetle will reverse and flick dirt for up to 500 meters a day. It is unknown why it does this, but experts believe it must be for something rancid. Insects classify the dirt in two ways, edible and non-edible. Edible dirt consists of dung, rotting matter, other miscellaneous organic matter, and aluminium foil. Non-edible dirt consists of plastic and bitumen and etc. It may be hard to believe, but there is some grace in this house of horrors. To convey this, we will follow the story of the dragonfly. The dragonfly begins its existence hatching from an egg, where it eats the yolk for sustenance while it develops. It does not acquire its famous signature form upon hatching though. First, it must mature from a typical premature phallus worm. The phallus worm will undulate its way around the foliage, eating aphids and particles of antimatter until it fills its experience meter. When the experience meter is completed, the phallus will erect a structure around itself from sticky insect mucus. After seven years, the dragonfly will emerge from the chrysalis, spread its wings and fly away. Dragonflies only live in this form for one day, which says something poetic about their graceful beauty. Even so, it is much longer than butterflies which only live for three picoseconds, and shorter if found in my garden. <laughs> Thank you for watching this short adventure into the intrepid world of the undergrowth. Join us next time where we turn our gaze upwards from the soil and beyond the sky into the stars in the spatial void. Until then, happy birthday. <laughs>